She always got the VIP. Yeah, oh. VIP right okay. there. Hey. I've done this before. Oh, yeah. you can tell. <laughs> she she's better. Yeah. <laughs> Right here in studio, y'all, the one and only, y'all, Trino and Adam. Hey, what's up? Trino, Adam. Bienvenidos. Welcome up, uh, to Valley it. Views. And also want to give a big shout out uh, to uh, uh, Grichi, who's going to be one of our special uh, yeah. co-hosts here today. Thank you, so, thank you. Grichi, uh, welcome. And then also our uh, uh, newsletter, our Valley Views newsletter editor-in-chief is in the house. We're talking about Hi, Sydney y'all. Rodriguez. Hey, so, we got Sydney in the house as well. Uh, Sydney and uh, Dios and I uh, got a chance to actually be out uh, and party a little and be out with uh, Trino and Adam and hang out with them. Um, and so it was really great to uh, be there with you guys. And I then also now guys. to have you guys here, you yeah, know, in the studio. Honored, we're yeah, honored, man. The same, same on our side, you know. And uh, first of all, like, let's start uh, here. And we'll start with Adam uh, uh, to my left over here. But like, how is right here, right now, Adam, your uh, mind, body, and spirit? Tell us. You know what? It's fulfilled. I feel like um, being here is such an honor. I feel like um, I never saw this ever, ever happening for us, you know? And so um, it's, it's such a privilege that you guys would even ask us to be here because I feel like we're not doing nothing more than but being ourselves, you know? And people Eerie. are paying attention. Right? And we've been doing this for a minute, you know? And people are finally starting to pay attention. And it's such an honor, man. I'll, yeah. I'll always be humbled. You That's know? awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. What about yourself, Trino? Just how is your mind, body, and spirit right here, right uh, now in me, the mix? I always feel so good. I'm always so grateful when I wake up, you know, just... um. Just I just be I'd be able to wake up and just be myself because just like Adam said, um, I'm 38, so I've been being me since for 38 years. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Wait up! Did you say 28? 28, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you, so, be, you be looking like 28. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I feel like a lot of people feel like we just were born like on the bridge with Henry. You know? What I mean? Right. Exactly. <laughs> Shout out right. to our boy Henry. But we've been living and we've been together for the years that we've been together. And sometimes I feel like in social media, it's like when something went viral, it's like who are these people? But right. We've been here. <laughs> yeah. And and that's what I love about it. It's like. Um, I remember when I uh, we were talking over at uh, uh, the Circus Circus. Come on now. Big yeah. shout out to David over there. Yeah, you know? yeah shout out to Vegas. David Vegas. Yes, that's oh, right. Vegas. Big shout out to David. But, uh, you know, also, um, you know, I was talking to your sister, I believe it I was. Yeah, sister your Brenda. sister. Big big shout out to her. Shout and, out to my sister, Bree. And, you know, I got to tell you, in that moment, even though we were up in the club and all I that good up. stuff, right? Yeah, we're dancing, but, you know. And it was, it was beautiful. But when we had that, that it was a, a small conversation, but it really impacted me, too. It's just like... Um, it was just talking about that, like how, you know, just just being your true selves, like you ain't trying to be anybody else. Mm -hmm. And it was cool to hear that, too, from your sister, though, because it was like this is coming from your family. Yes. And so it's nice that uh, you also have like folks like that around you. Oh, right. Yeah, so yeah, that yeah. kind of like in a way you stay grounded to, to yourself, but still being able to do what you do, you yeah. know, yeah. in that sense. Well, uh, my sister, my sister Brenda has uh, she's a very passionate woman. You know I me. Mean? I have four sisters, but she's very different, and she she has a very beautiful story about herself that she's very different. Mm. You know, because she's very uh, she always been really quiet, so they always saw that as weakness. Mm. But she's so strong. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that I feel like uh, uh, my sister just you know she's just I love her. Yeah, I love her, and she always teaching reminds me. You know, my family grounds me, That's mm -hmm. good awesome. or bad. I feel because yeah. like, I come from big families. Oh, like, really? one of my grandma has, like, 12 kids. Woo! Okay. Yeah. She was not playing. Wow. Right there, huh? She was yeah. not playing. Yeah. That, that's a baby factory right there. That's right. Time, you know? Yeah, my grandma. Yeah, oh, my so gosh. That, that, but, no, that's great. You know, and, uh, uh, you know, and, and as we progress today on today's show, I just want to definitely... Uh, you know, we want to dedicate this show to uh, Griselda's uh, dad yeah, as well. Yeah. We want to just put yeah, it out there, too, you. on the airwaves. Love you, Griselda. Um, you. you know, thank just you. tell us a little bit, Grichi, before we really get into the conversation. Just uh, uh, let's just take a quick moment to pause here and tell us a little, little bit about your dad. And, like, let's celebrate his life today, who, too. Who you know, he just he? passed Who's away. Who's Poppy? Who's Poppy? Literally <laughs> passed away yesterday, right? But, um, you know, we, we, we talked briefly yesterday or texted and all that. Uh, but just tell us about your dad. Um, my dad was an amazing man. He lived... 90 full years of life was wow. healthy yes. until the bitter end um this summer he battled colon cancer survived and then ended up getting liver cancer and that's what did it but until the very end he showed us love and he told my mom that he was never going to leave us mm. that he would always be with us so to know that and to know that my dad is the person that drove me to be who I am and to be involved in my community mm -hmm. means a lot. Yeah. So I was a Chicano studies major, as you know, and then became a teacher in my own community. And all of that I owe to my dad. Mm. You know, people 
downgrade Pacoima a lot. And yeah. my dad always told us, you'd be proud of where you were born and raised. Yes, mm-hmm. that's right. So yeah. always giving back to the community, and I owe that to my father. Beautiful, beautiful. 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 Let's say his name. I got Let's chills. say his name. His Ooh. name is Jose Gutierrez Valdovinos. Dilo. Yes. Yes. There it is. So Presente. Presente. Yeah. That's right. That's right. right so long, we're definitely uh, going to dedicate this segment to, to him and, uh, you know, to your whole family, right? Like our Thank deepest you. condolences. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, my heart's with you um, through these times. And just know, you know, whatever you need, we got you right here. You know know that. You You know that. Yes, uh, I do. And, uh, you know, and and let's get into this because this really is like, you know, and our show is really about this, right? It's all about like just like being genuine. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, um, y'all are definitely very genuine and very different, but also uh, very real, you know, in so many ways, you know. (laughs) And uh, tell us like, you know, so like y'all been doing this for a while. And uh, uh, I believe, uh, so are you guys celebrating, is it 18 years together? 18 years. Is that what it is? Wow. It's 26 of this month. Yeah. Ooh, so wow. almost, awesome. right? Ooh. All right, all right. So uh, who's planning the date night? <laughs> <laughs> well, most likely me. Um, I plan everything. Uh, <laughs> Adam's the one that's yeah, better, huh? Yeah. I feel like it's more chill now. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, like, you know, I feel like we stay, we love to go out and, and enjoy ourselves in concerts or whatever we do. So when it comes to that day, I just love, like, I just love to eat. So Yay. Like, just take me to eat. Uh, <laughs> there it is. Something so, greasy. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Adam's like, all right, I can handle that. I can, <laughs> I can, I can afford that. <laughs> all right, there it is. Something greasy. Something that's greasy, right, you know? Right. But, uh, um, yeah, and so, you know, like, obviously, like, how's it been for you guys? Because, uh, like you said, too, like, sometimes it's like, you know, uh, to be expressive and to be able to, like, uh, like really show your true love, mm-hmm. right? Like, has probably not been easy for y'all, you know, but tell us a little bit about that. Like, I really just curious about like, um, coming together for 18 years now, but like just being able to like be open about your relationship. Was that something that definitely took, you know, some hurdles, some yeah. challenges? Well, to be honest, you know? I feel like, um, um, still sometimes to this day, like I feel like I could try to hide, you know, I feel like, especially I'm a server. I work, I work um, in the, the restaurant industry mm-hmm. and, um, when it comes to like people that become my regulars, like they they will be like, hey, what did you buy your wife, especially when they're with children? What did you buy your wife yeah, yeah, for Valentine's yeah. Day? So I will tell them, especially you're, you're if there's a kids bit, around. You're a little bit more free now. Oh, for sure, yeah. I'm free freer now, but because I feel like a lot of people know already, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah and before yeah. I felt like I was hiding. Like when I went to new jobs, I always felt like I had to come out every time, like if they're my parent, you know. Yeah. And they'll be like, oh, like oh, like um, do you have a wife? And I'm like, yeah, I have a wife, you know. <laughs> <laughs> She's bald. She's bald. She's bald. She's, bald. She's, bald. She's a little manly. She, <laughs> she got a little nice goatee going on. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like um, I feel like now, like yeah. I've come to a point in my life where I feel more like I'm embracing who I truly am, you yeah. know. That's because because the world is starting to embrace us, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. but so I always felt like I did. Us that for sure. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. that's rough though. Like the res- the restaurant industry, um, you know, it, it's full of a, a lot of old timers, oh, a lot of our, sure. you know, yeah. I, and and also it's just like so um, the culture, yeah. you know. I think anybody that has been in, in the restaurant industry or knows about being in the restaurant industry, it's it's rough. You know, they they're they're kind of ruthless and the the well, way that se, the way that se llevan, yeah. you know, and I, I could see why it's a little bit, you know, hard to to yeah. be authentically yourself in that it, space. It, to me, especially when there's children at a table. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't I don't I don't do that. I don't throw my stuff out there like that. You yeah. Know? And like even like just the way I look, like I don't like when people like when they find out like who I am or yeah. who I'm with, you know. They um they just kind of like they just seem so surprised mm-hmm. you know yeah. and um like well, even you know, it's when it well, though, just you know? just with my look like when I first became a server there um there was a time where um I was serving this table and it was in Bakersfield where I'm from you know in Rosedale it was more like a little big more shout out to Bakersfield Bakersfield, right. Bakersfield. Bakersfield. Hey, that's another set uh, we just Central came from Valley. Bakersfield yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. all yeah. right I'm yeah. from Bakersfield we hey. <laughs> a little bit uh, just a tiny bit you yeah. know and so like um there was a time where like I just became the server and and I had and and there was this couple that had gave me their their the card and so I went to go and pay the payment and then right when I walked away with their card they asked the other <laughs> server I remember this like hey oh, um did you guys do a background check on him you know? <laughs> oh wow really? said that like about that. No. so the oh. other server was so offended wow. she's yeah. like I don't know why they would say that about you and this and that yeah, you know? yeah. and um, it was of course it was a white couple you know like yeah. not to bring races but was it was racist. that you know yeah right <laughs> <laughs> that was and, um, hey, so that, then, that's his facts right there no yeah, cap. You know? yeah. so, so when i go and to take him back yeah. to the card right like i had put it in my pocket because i was trying to multitask a little bit uh-huh. and so I, when i take it out the card stayed in my pocket 
And so then when I go and give him a thing, he's like, can I get my card back? And so I reached in my pocket and it was there. And I was like, oh, God. Oh, I wiped him out. I wiped him out for sure. Yeah. And so, like, it was just just that. But I mean, yeah. I feel like now that I've come more comfortable with serving, mm-hmm. I feel like right away people just, they love me. They yeah. really do love yeah. me, you know? But I really feel it's because Adam's already more comfortable with himself. Right. When you walk around with a chip on your shoulder, overthinking, mm-hmm. it shows. Absolutely. I feel like Adam's more free now and people just to embrace you. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's, yeah. that's, the, that's the ingredients that I feel in human as we need yeah. just being yourself because I know that too I know how to I'll walk into the room and I feel like the world was out to get me so I was ready mm. so mm. then I made my life so hard yeah. and now when I'm not really caring how people are viewing me yeah. I walk and I'm just like walking and, and just live, just being me right? Yeah. and then I just feel like you people, own the people, space people yeah. embrace it now yeah. But when I, I, you know, so I definitely feel like that's what it but is. But you guys are also, like, uplifting one another. I think that has a lot to do with, like, getting that chip off your shoulder, yeah. you know? Well, I love I, Adam. I feel like I can't be with him if I don't want him to be the best that he can be. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I would have yeah. left him because, I mean, come on. <laughs> hey, Adam, hey, you still here, baby boy? <laughs> I'm still here 18 years later. But, you know, yeah. acceptance is, is, is everywhere. You know, growing up, like, you know, thinking about your, you know, you guys and your love and and everything that i that i know about you guys you know just from social media and and following your story it's it's very touching you know i grew up in a home where it was never looked down upon you know my mother's fought my mother's uncle was one of the first cases of aids in mexico Mm, in chacan and my mom always told us and you know why that is because he had to hide who he was. Mm. Oh my God. She goes, like, yeah, you yeah. never hide who you are. You don't for anyone. Always be true to yourself. Mm-hmm. And so I, I've always lived with that. I had very strong parents. They were yeah. old school. My mom's 80. My dad, like I said, was 90. But they were very progressive. Mm. And so we, I grew up in a home where my mom's friend, Jose, became Francine. Mm. And it was very normal to us. Very normal. So the first time I heard you know, the derogatory yeah. term that Probably is used for you. gay people. <laughs> yeah. I looked at my mom and I said, Mom, why are they saying that? And she said, because they're ignorant, but Ooh. we're not. Right, right. Wow. And that's what it is. You preach that's that. what right? it is. And I like that. It's ignorance. And I like how you, like, it yeah. was like, because we're not, though. You know, right. that part, too. Yeah. Right, know? yes, yes. Yeah, that, that's so important. And, like, for you guys, like, as far as, like, uh, just in your families, like, how was that, like, coming out to them, if you will? You know, like, um, yep. Cause I'm sure that y'all have a probably different like situation how that came out or yeah. did you guys do it together or how was no. that you know? Well, for me, I feel like my parents um, they're very old school and they do come from a big family. Mm. So and then me being the only son, um, it was a lot of expectations for me. You know, I have four sisters. I was the only boy. My dad was extremely excited. So there were expectations. They didn't just mm. have a son. They, that son was coming. There was already extreme expectations mm. of meeting him or the way a man or a boy should be. And I just came with a different type of spice to me. Yeah. And I was like, I mean, right? spicy. Special spice. Uh, <laughs> and, and, they, and, they yeah. and they didn't know how to embrace that. So mm-hmm. they, they, when they saw those spices, they were like, no, 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 this is, we don't know the spice. So let's mold it to what we know. Mm-hmm. But they, they were just shrinking me and they were belittling. Mm. I feel like they were not allowing me to put myself in the bubble to the point that I made myself, I got to their level. Mm-hmm. And like, let me, let me figure myself and let me mold myself because I need to survive. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I need to put a shield because uh, I mean, if I show Trino, Mm-hmm. People are out to get me. Yeah. So I'm at home Especially out there in, the in Bakersfield. Oh, I was, I'm yeah. from Oxnard. Oh, you're not from Bakersfield. I'm, I'm from Bakersfield. Yeah. 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 Oh, shout okay. Out, shout out to Oxnard. Oxnard. Yeah, Oxnard. <laughs> yeah. Oxnard over there too. So I know? feel like, you know, I think they still kind of struggle yeah. to really yeah. embrace the type of man that I am. Mm. You know, but I feel like when you're gay and man, and maybe Latino community, you're less of a man. Mm, so yeah. I feel like my parents saw me as like, oh, it's como una mujer, you know what I mean? But it's like, no, I'm just a man. Yeah, exactly. man. It remove Adam from it, you know what I mean? Because right. that doesn't define me. Me, gay doesn't define me. It's just Trino. You don't have to recognize the type of man, but I am a man. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know what I mean? That's beautiful. You know, so yeah. I, I, I definitely, it wasn't just with family. Like, I feel I will meet people with ten time. It's like, oh, you're one of the girls. Oh. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, maybe let me embrace my feminine because we right. all have feminine sides. Yeah, too. Exactly. absolutely. But it's just right. like, I feel like. I mean, I have masculine side. Right. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We're all different. Yeah. 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 And, it, and it's dope to kind of embrace those kind of yeah. like energies that we There's have, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nothing wrong with that, you know? You know, a lot of men need to figure out just whatever feminine means because if you're going to be a father, you have to have that because sometimes when people feel that when you're sensitive, that's the feminine. But that's mm. not feminine, no, right? Absolutely. Why can't dudes be that's sensitive? That's a human. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. a human, you know? Right? Yeah. No, I feel that. And, like, you know, and, and uh, um, you know, you, you yourself also, you're a father too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
and uh, uh, tell us about that. Like, how is that too? Like being a father and and, and mm -hmm. navigating. I think for uh, me, that I, I think I, I I mold myself to be so hard that I learned how to break that because mm. almost became who I am. Mm. Sometimes I didn't know how to express my emotions, and um, I'm not extremely too affectionate. You know what I mean? Mm. So I'm learning with time that for me to be better, and I want my daughter. My daughter is uh, such a beautiful woman. Yeah. You know, shout out to my baby, Natalie. Hey, Natalie. Natalie, Natalie, Natalie hey. Garcia. Natalie Garcia. Yeah. Oh, Natalie Garcia. Yeah. Oh, Natalie Garcia. Yeah. Yeah. We just had baby. a, so your, your, our former guest is yeah. your uh, daughter. Is our daughter. <laughs> for a minute, I was like, my baby's here? <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, it was beautiful to see, because we were in the, we were in the back, yeah. and you see the, her, uh, her dad recording. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, I'm so me, proud. I was like, oh, also, God. Also, she pulled out a card, and it was grounding her, uh, she pulled out a, a like a meditation card for us for yeah. the day yeah. and it was uh grounding and so it's just also super cool because like all you've been talking about today is like being grounded yeah, right? and exactly. so it, it went along with the theme it's, it's something that's never gonna, it's never gonna go out of style mm -hmm. you know what I mean? we need it we need to remember that yes. yeah and we live, live in the world that we forget mm -hmm. we're not floating let's go ahead and put the feet right? on the ground right. yes <laughs> yeah for reals you know yeah. that, that's like stay grounded i stay, I stay grounded yeah mm -hmm. and, and it just feels better it like, right it's yeah. like when you just anchor yourself it's just like the world doesn't feel like it's spinning as fast as it is in our yeah. heads you know mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. you know um, and and what about for yourself adam like how how was that for you as far as like just coming you know out. coming out and like just like you know being free from yeah. like that at least from your like family, family. or parents and you yeah, know what the difference yeah. between adam and i i'm like first generation mexican mm. he's more chicano oh okay. So, okay so that's already the difference that's a tonight. that's already like other layers to yeah. peel right there huh well, i feel yeah. like for me i feel like it was always just um something that i always kind of knew about me you know but i could never accept that like even when i first met trino i felt like i told him i was bisexual you mm. know because i could never admit that i was gay you know yeah and um and then so so finally when i came out i came out when i was 20 to my mom um, I still remember the day like it was yesterday, like my dad was there, rest in peace to him, you know? But um, we were just all, he was sitting at the table, my mom was washing some dishes and I kind of just brought it out, you know? And my mom says, I don't have a son because I'm the only boy too. What? So yeah, she's yeah, like, yeah, I don't yeah. have a son, I have nothing but daughters, you know? Wow. And so it kind of like, it really hit and, and they were kind of all yelling at me. My dad was crying and my, my sister that were from the same mom and dad, she just hugged me and she embraced me, you know, mm. and she says, Shout out to leave Karina. him alone. Shout yeah. to wow. And so like that day I moved out and I was in a very bad situation where I was, it was not the best time of my life. Yeah. And, and when I came back home, like six months later, cause I moved out that day. Um, I wow, came that back. Same day you, I, yeah, because wow. I didn't feel wanted, you know, I yeah. just had to leave, you know? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. so, um, I came back, I came back in, in a cop car. I came back in a cop car. I had bites all over me. Um, I had like a ripped up tank top and my mom says, I would rather you be here and know that you're safe mm. and, and, and then to be out there not knowing what's going on with you. So she accepted oh, wow. me, yeah, she yeah, embraced yeah, yeah. me. And um, yeah, and my mom, she, it's, it's still a process to this very day. She's a Christian woman, she loves God. So she doesn't always agree with what I do, but she loves me for being her son, Adam. You know? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. so Aww. that's how that came out for me, Ooh. you know? I mean, that's and, like, that's some deep stuff right there. I just in general, heavy. you know? Yeah. Can you, you bring know. the sage? Let's cleanse the room <laughs> real quick. You know? we got, well, we got we the cosmic the guy right there, you know? Yeah. There you go. And that's a Natalie Garcia uh, candle, up, you know? Oh. So there you go, you Natalie know? Natalie Garcia she candle. Just, she just gave us Your those. story <laughs> gave me shaky a little. <laughs> you know, it, it's heavy, but it's mm. healing yeah. at the same time. Yeah. It's very Beautiful. healing. And I just barely touched the surface. So right. Yeah. Yeah. That story. That no, but I appreciate that because it's just like, it just goes to show though, like, but how how quick like the 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 switch could be flipped, you know, in different mm -hmm. directions. Like from like right. having to say this to not feeling wanted to eventually coming back and like, yo, nah, we rather have you here. Yeah. Like you know, uh, in a safe space. Uh, uh, so it's kind of like, who you never know, right? Who might be listening out there? Who's like maybe in a situation like similar to this, you know? Yeah. And like, yeah. point being, like, look, y'all here, y'all mm -hmm. thriving in your own yeah. ways now, you know, yeah. and glowing and shining. My mom loves me. Like I'm, I'm her <laughs> yeah. king, and she's my queen. You know, yeah. Yeah. she loves me hard. She, on, that, she, she treats him like that's her baby. If she can carry yeah. you, she would. <laughs> she would <huh? laughs> but I love that you said that because yeah. that made me feel. It, it, I felt it in my heart to know that people are going through something sometimes yeah. because yeah. I know the way when I was younger, I used to feel that. I wanted somebody to make me feel like, hey, show me that when I'm older, I'm gonna be okay. Mm. Cause I feel yeah. like I didn't, I didn't see myself in nobody. Mm -hmm. So living your life like that, it's it's super scary. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. It's really scary to feel like, 
I don't know how I'm gonna be. Right. Because you know? yeah. I automatically was like, I'm not like these guys, and I definitely don't feel like I'm like a typical gay guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. like, what category am I in? For yeah. Real, right? but, like, but like yeah. now, I love that fact that I won't have a category. I'm yeah. Three, no, Embrace that. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. I no, am I unique. I am weird. I'm out, I'm outcasted, yeah. and mm-hmm. I love it. Yeah, I love it. I well, love that right, because right? that's how I grew up. <laughs> yeah. I was I was a goth girl in a Chicano Ooh, community oh, that was oh, not yeah. that was not liked she by many like, people. Yeah. she was like she's de- she's girl. a devil worshiper. Oh, they All called right? me cat killer. Uh, they called yeah. me killer. everything, <laughs> everything. Right? Right? But yeah. you know what? I was true to myself, like my parents told me. And I'm okay with that. Right? Yeah. yeah. You know, I, feel like, I feel like that was an expression, huh? Yeah. Yes. People don't understand this. No. You know, I, growing up, I, I went through the same thing. And um, I grew up in the Catholic church. And um, I went through a very traumatic experience where they, they literally uh, took all my clothing. They took all my jewelry. Like your parents? Oh, wow. And my parents, I, my godparents at the time, um, they had like an intervention oh wow <laughs> what are you doing and uh. they thought i was a devil worshiper oh, really? wow. <laughs> no uh. i was just uh, you know very emotional going mm. through middle school and high school did and you have that emo phase is I, what it was it was it a was, very was emo. hardcore yeah. emo <laughs> phase yes right we shout out to all the emos out there yeah. Yeah. we love you nothing we wrong with that you. i'm an emo sometimes right yeah <laughs> I sometimes but I, I, I could right? relate to that and i you know for me it wasn't, it, my parents didn't, you know, um, appreciate it, but I stayed true to myself and, you know, I kind of grew out of the style, but I still come back to my style every now and then, right? and, you, you know, said, uh, it's like, wrong <laughs> there's nothing wrong, you know, it's, it's still part of who I am. Exactly. I still you're, listen to the music, it. you know, yeah. and something that people were, your parents were making it seem like this ugly here as an adult, it bring, comes out. And yeah. I love that. Yeah. You know, it's interesting because the reason I toned it down was because I became a teacher. Mm. And parents judge you. Oh, yeah. They judge you. Right, right. I don't care what, what you say. This <laughs> emo, emo teacher teaching my kids. I was very rebellious. Oh, she was a wild girl. I wanted girl. attention, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not in a bad way, but just like, I have so many siblings. Mm. And You're like, look at me. Yeah, look yeah at me. and I'm the firstborn. So, oh. you know, and I have a lot of younger siblings. Expectations then, huh? So Sydney's just a babysitter in her family now. Yeah, <laughs> now I'm a babysitter, yeah. yeah. I take care of everybody. But mm. back then, then like nobody paid attention to me you know so i just kind of was out there it was like let me have a boyfriend my dad is very hispanic and very like old school so it was like no not until you're 30. <laughs> oh, man. and now i'm just like single and i'm choosing to be single yeah. 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 You're beautiful. Yeah. yeah thank you I have to say, the cumbias in the back is giving Yeah, you're liking it? <laughs> oh, I like it. Eat that. Okay, okay. You know, just a little vibe right there. Right, you know? This is the vibe right here. <laughs> but, uh, you know, and tell us, uh, speaking of this vibe, you know, so, like, y'all, like, blew up, with, especially when it came to the, uh, uh, so talk, talk about that photography session that y'all mm. had that eventually ended up uh, on the LA Times. Which is a year anniversary you now, know? right? Oh. Yes. No, so almost, what, almost. What, what, for almost that photographer? Yeah, yeah, for that photographer. No, the photographer was actually June 1st. It was that video was posted. Okay. Yeah. We met him in like, I think May. Like, the, maybe like at the end of May. Ago, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so this is so new. Like, everything's been like happening like a. Uh, like, real quick, inspired, huh? Yeah, yeah, but we just did another photo shoot with them at the Policita Olvera. I just, mm. uh, yeah, yeah, I saw, saw that, that one. I, I think you just posted that I one. We just too. posted yeah. it. Yeah. yeah you, know? That, you know, I love that one too because it was kind of like a, it was very poetic. Yes. Yeah. It was, it yes. was definitely poetic. He, he writes poetry. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. He's a, he's a rapper. He's a poet. Okay. okay. Right. You, you know, it, it. it was very poetic, but I think the second time around, mm-hmm. you guys looked way more comfortable. And that filled me. I was still nervous. Yeah. No. Oh, <laughs> man. And, but, and you know the incident in that moment? We, we went early. And we heard a guy saying like, hey, Kyle. Uh-huh. And then we're because, <laughs> because Henny was like, oh, you guys should hug and kiss him. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so then we heard that and they were like, Adam was like, oh, they're calling us. Yeah, yeah. Some guys. Mm. And I started getting nervous. It's all oh, getting okay, shaky. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Like, like what's, going, what's going, on? going on? Yeah. Is this the time we're gonna fight somebody? Right? <laughs> oh right? no! I'm not prepared. For real, right? <laughs> <laughs> can, can we just hug it out, please? <laughs> and, then, and then Henry, can we hug it out? <laughs> Henry told his husband, "Hey, keep the cameras rolling because mm. I think there's gonna be some homophobia right now." Yeah, 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 so yeah. So then Adam was like, "I'm gonna go." I was like, "No, don't go." But then the guy came up to me. He was tatted up and showing nothing but love. Oh, mm. shout out to that. Elvis. His name was Elvis. 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 And I even told him like, "Hey, man, puppy, I thought we're gonna fight." Yeah, right. <laughs> I was like, what? Right? I wasn't was, ready for that. Yeah, I was not ready for And then, you know, there was a lot of older people, so us doing that, it makes me feel uncomfortable. Mm. Because that, you never know how they're going to receive it. No, right? To me, yeah. the fact that they feel uncomfortable, that's not what I'm here to do. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, you're yeah, so yeah. respectful. No, seriously, at the end of the day, Adam and I learned that Adam and I, we, we're free. Yeah. yeah. We have our space. 
and I show him affection by putting my hand, but I don't have to kiss him or hold his hand to me. Right. Even though a lot of gay men do that, that's beautiful. Yeah. But that's yeah. not Adam and I. Yeah. We're not here to try to no secret agenda. Yeah. yeah. We're not making you change your mind. We just see three no and just see Adam. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I mean? And you don't have to respect it. Just respect us as humans. Yeah, right? interact with you as people. Yeah. Yeah. So for us, when we do photo shoots, that's not how we are. Mm-hmm. It's a photo shoot and that's not how we do I don't like that kind of attention yeah, exactly. and I'm not trying to accept it. Yeah. Right, accept right. this. If you're uncomfortable, well, this is 2023. That's not us. Mm-hmm. Right? No, that's not us. You know what I mean? So if we're on social media and we're doing that, yeah. You know, it's just, like our like our YouTube, it's always not for kids. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> always. We not always for put kids. It, you not for kids. It, you can do that. Yeah, I, when I do watch up. them. They're not for kids. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, but it was beautiful. Like the first, what, what caught my attention was because, like I said, I grew up in a very accepting home. So it wasn't that it was two gay men. What caught my attention was the song. Yeah. The song okay, that was okay. chosen. Yeah. That song is so beautiful. So iconic. And so as I watched the video, I thought, this is the perfect song. And Whatever that was Henry. chose this, It was Henry. Oh, that yeah. was beautiful. Henry, Henry picked the song, too. Yeah, Henry yeah. Yes. Yeah. Amazing. We, just, we just showed up and took pictures. He did everything else. Yeah, editing to that. Wow. Wow. It was... It was, it was you know, we're just there. As you can tell, we're being ourselves. But yeah, just he's the one thing. that created it. He's the one that made it the way it was. Yeah. And I love and, it, man. And how, how was that for you guys then? So, like, once that picture kind of goes uh, viral and, like, that that iconic picture now, is like, I really feel like that that is an iconic wow. picture now, right? <laughs> I mean, it really is. I yeah, mean, yes. when I think of Chino and Adam, that's the first vision right. I get of you guys. Even, even more so than, like, um, you know, uh, some of the fun stuff you guys do on, on your socials, you know? Yeah. But, like... I don't know. There's something about that picture in that moment that's like just uh, radiates uh, so much love. And like you said, like just realness, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. but how did you guys take it afterwards? Like when you woke up eventually, right? And like you guys started getting hit up probably or like, you know, you started getting a lot of activity. Like, how was that? You know, like just that that how process because it's feel, still happening like, in a way. Right? I feel like we're, yeah. every day we're waking up. I feel like yeah. we're still not used to it. This is something so new, especially in the short amount of time that's happened. Yeah. And um. It's just so, like, humbling. Like, we get so excited when people want to just even work with us. Even when you just hit hit us up. Like, it's just all so brand new. And it's just, I feel like every day I'm still waking up. Yeah. Yeah. That's beautiful. No, seriously. Because, again, we're just living our life, you know. This this is like like our daughter. Our daughter's a Mm -hmm. professional dancer. For us, for her, this is not new. This is what she knows. Yeah. So she's not trying to see, oh, my dad, like my dads are getting being kind of noticed a little uh-huh. bit. Yeah. Let me jump and be like, oh, these are my dads. My daughter's it's still not like that. Yeah. Mm. If she doesn't walk around like, oh, my dad is Trino and Adam. Yeah. She, if you don't ask her, she don't say it. Well, because I feel like you're teaching her the right way of inter- actually, interacting, yeah. engaging on because her Because I'm really media. like, baby, like people are noticing, this can help your career. Yeah. For right. her, it's like, no, I'm. this is my stuff. Yeah. Like, you guys been doing this. Yeah. You know, so for her, it's like, uh, okay, like, you yeah. know, she's not, she's never wowed. I mean, we're always trying to impress. We're always trying to impress. We're gonna be yeah. on the radio station, baby. I know, right? Oh, okay, it's like, okay, okay go to that's cool. <laughs> have dinner ready when I get home. That's it. Yeah, right, exactly, right. Yeah, like, so we're, we're gonna go eat afterwards, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, that's good though, in a way, because it's like it. it, it I do um, like that about them. You it. know, it's one like it, it's about that grounding again that yeah. we're talking about too. You know, but also like um, it's good to teach through like just the actions too mm-hmm. you know and like not just like saying it but also like you know this is how we do stuff you know yeah, like yeah. this is how we operate our mindset our, I w- our way I wouldn't of, like our it lifestyle. if she was just like um like oh let me just it, where could I use another step yeah mm-hmm. for her again she's always she's also very um different for herself she doesn't really see herself in a lot of people mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Um, she's a professional dancer like I said mm-hmm. and we don't have that in our family mm-hmm. and it's it's school and a lot of people are like, okay, you're being a dancer? Like, how, you know, they almost yeah. always discredit that. Right. So it always made her feel mm. a little bit like, people don't really believe that I'm going to make mm. this happen. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. But, and then she doesn't have nobody that she almost look up to because, yeah. you know, she's a little different in her own way. And now she's almost like embodying that she didn't need a mentor. Mm. Mm-hmm. She's her own mentor. Her yeah. life's a mentor. Yeah. Wow. She's doing something so other people can look at. Yeah. And it's almost making her very compassionate. Yeah. You know what I mean? She, she walks around. She has the biggest heart. Mm. You know what I mean? I she I admire her and she teaches me all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, I Hey, that's a fruit falling not too yes. far from the yeah. tree. You know what I mean? Yeah, I love her so. I yes. find it so hard to believe that you said that you're not an affectionate person. Like, I am. Oh my but I goodness. feel like I feel like it's so um, much love radiating yeah, from you. you. <laughs> hey, well, speaking of that, like, like, how would y'all describe or like, what is your love language? You know? Yeah. What does love language mean for you? Uh, my my love language is more um, um I feel like I'm a giver you know mm. like I like to buy him whatever he wants if he needs something that I want to just make sure that happens for him you know yeah. 
And um, I feel like with him, I feel like he's very affectionate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's very affectionate. Sometimes I am affectionate, I like, but to me, it's like, know, you know? it was something tough. But I love to always hug him. Yeah. I like to always just, you know, and, you know, just like I feel like, I think for me with my, my mom, I feel like when I came out, and I feel like she wouldn't drink from my cup mm. because I feel like she made me feel like I was nasty. You know? mm. So yeah, I yeah. feel um, so that made me feel very insecure. Mm. I get oily, you know what I mean? It's like I thought you were gonna I don't like people touching me. Mm. You know what oh me? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like that trauma. Oh yeah, whatever. Yeah, you know. So sometimes I feel like I have a sister that she'll grab my head and she will make me feel like no todo asco. You know what I'm saying? Aww. Oh yeah. So it was something that I feel yeah. like yeah. Adam made me feel comfortable. Mm. That mm-hmm. you know, I just feel like I'm in my comfort. Yeah, you know I mean? I'm okay here. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. That's yeah, no me juzga. Right? Who cares if I'm oily? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know it makes no sense, but it's like it's right. weird. No, it makes sense. It does. It does. Yeah. 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 It's like you know. Yeah. But isn't it a trip too? Like how like one one thing or like these these things that happen to us when we're kids or growing up like that, they kind of get so imprinted in mm-hmm. us mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. that also it kind of that's kind of what brings about some insecurities in us too yeah. mm-hmm. when we're older and like it just takes some time to like break down those uh, insecurities exactly. yeah. and kind of realize where they come from exactly. so that we can kind of like power through those too yeah. though you know I love you said because I feel like lately I've been living with a young Trinito mm-hmm. the Trino and young me I'm gonna uh-huh, let him yeah. come out and I feel a lot of people that's what they're seeing yeah you know I feel like I've been the very that little boy in me a lot lately. Oh. You know, what I mean? I'm, I feel like I'm freeing him. Yeah. From, Ooh, I love from, that. From that, you know. Yes. So I've been very emotional, mm-hmm. uh, very sensitive lately, and that was who he was. Mm-hmm. And he wasn't allowed, and I'm allowing him. So a lot of people are seeing a young little boy with yeah. a, 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 yeah. a grown man. Yeah. Exactly. And I'm freeing him because I feel like he was, you know, he was put in something yeah. for and a And I feel time. like that's so important for people to hear too. You know, like you're a grown man and you can tap into those feelings and those emotions exactly. and heal heal yourself yeah because you know? a lot of people are they're living their life as adults and they're going through a lot of stuff and they don't know where it's coming from but it's because you just like forgot that you were a child mm-hmm. when, right? yes. something happened it's okay to embrace this and make you a better human if exactly. you're a mother or a father it's gonna make you a better parent it's gonna make you understand right. you're almost uh, bring yourself back to a child yeah to understand your child you know right I mean? for real yeah to be a better parent is yeah. to remember you were a child you yeah. i was gonna say and the beauty in that is that you both are great fathers to your daughter I appreciate mm-hmm. that. and you've that empowered like her like, oh. you know you, you've empowered her to be who she is and to be independent yeah. and for a woman that's really really difficult to feel mm-hmm. yeah. that was my goal that yeah. was my goal coming from sisters that the way my parents were they felt like um uh just you can't embrace the nail polish. You can't. Mm-hmm. And for me, I was imp- yeah. reminding my daughter, like, I want my daughter to be different because my yeah. sisters are powerful, beautiful women. Mm-hmm. But they were they were constantly reminded that it's a man first. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Tone it down. I want my daughter to remember that she's a woman, but she's also very powerful. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? If she's going to smell good and look good, do it for yourself because sometimes I feel like if you see a Word. woman doing that, automatically it's like, get attention. Mm-hmm. Right. It's like, what about if I wanted to look good? Just, yeah. just for it's myself. Good. What yeah. about like me feeling good? Yeah. You know? Yeah. So when she goes to do it for somebody was, else. My <laughs> daughter right now, she got her nails always done. She always smells good. Yeah. She's a woman that walks around. She's she's small. Yeah. But she's walking around like she's seven foot tall. You know, <laughs> that's what it's all about. You know, sometimes it's about that mindset and yeah. lifestyle yeah. more so than like, you know. And you have to remember, yeah. you too did that. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes yeah. I'm like, man, like, and you know what? When you speak about being parents, like I never, I never plan on being a parent. Mm-hmm. And it was hard for me to jump into their lives and learn how to fit in to, mm. to, to what they got going on. Mm-hmm. You know, and um, I just learned to embrace it. And I just feel like I don't know if I would ever want like a kid of my mm. own. My family always says, "Don't you want your own baby?" I was like, "I do have a daughter." You know, right. her mm. name is Natalie. Yes. You know? yeah. Oh, and, um, wow. um, yes. and I just feel like she's more than I could ever ask for. Like she completes. I mean, yes, yeah, it's, it's, I love having him, but she. He, she just fits that puzzle and she makes right. it complete, you know, That's and I'm beautiful. just, I'm truly honored. And you know, they're a beautiful family. Feeling that, yeah. you know? I feel that, you know, and uh, um, again, you guys are just so loving in that sense, you know, and like, um, and you know, how is it like, um, so now that, you know, the, the photo came out and like, there's, there's a lot more activity and all that, like, how have y'all tried to navigate that too, you know, because uh, I'm sure people are trying to pull you in different directions, you know? Y'all you know busy. what? Like everybody always wants to invite you everywhere. You know, right. like we're gonna put you in VIP. We're gonna do this and that. And I feel like, I we need to learn how to navigate that in a sense because I feel like um, I've been drinking too much. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm about to give up. It's about to give so, up. It, on sounds, me, you know? it sounds like when I started, Valley, <laughs> I got invited all over the place. Yeah, you know? you know, and it's fun. It's fun. Don't get me wrong, but I feel like at the end of the day, we gotta still have a family to support. We still yeah. gotta pay bills. You know, exactly. we still gotta do all that. So I feel like that's what we need to navigate. And when it comes to like people seeing us, like. 
they, 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 especially the Latino community, they always talk about the way we dress. Yeah. It's always a big issue. Like, we're making the, the, the homies look bad. We're making... Oh, no. I, mean, <laughs> I think, I I think like the, the opposite. opposite. The homies, yeah. the homies do not it. need any help. They make themselves look bad like, on their own. You know? I'm trying to dress more like Trino. <laughs> <laughs> And so they, they feel yeah. like it's an act. They feel like um that we're just putting up this front. But I feel like like growing up and, and always feeling like you just I mean, especially like being bullied in school, being this mm. and that, you you wanna build a shield. It's like an armor you wear. And when yep. you dress like this, when you're bad, when you're running with the homies, when you're doing drugs, it's like it makes you feel like no one's gonna mess with you no more. Like, you know? like, like the cholas. Yeah. Back then yeah. the cholas used to have the hair feather, eyeliner, right? Eyebrow. It was back then it was for intimidation before yeah. just me stepping in, you're already scared of me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah. right. You know me, that's what it was. So and I feel like we now grew up on that area. Yeah. I feel yeah. like that's now it's just it's just it's just what I'm if I dressed any other way, it would that would be an act for me, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So this True is just that. how I feel comfortable. I'm yeah. not trying to put up a front, I'm not trying to pretend to be something I'm not because I never yes. go representing Don't games anyway. Right. Right. <laughs> this is just me. So I mean anyone that always asks that like oh they, someone put in a comment like it's okay to be gay but just dress like you're gay oh wow, and oh I, said, wow. Yeah. I said i'm sorry i was in the wrong line when they gave out the manual because i don't i never knew there was a dress right? code exactly. i'm just being me yeah. and, you know yeah, yeah. That, that's but that's you know what i feel like the way you said it like um i i always drew i always dress a certain way i grew up in um in the colonial area and, and um in oxnard and the rio like that's very hood oh nice okay yeah, 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 yeah. and and you couldn't wear that's certain colonial. colors mm. Mm. Where, you know you couldn't wear a certain color in Colonia, you know, I was bald. I ser- so to me, it was always our colors. Mm-hmm. So now that I'm older, I embrace my fashion. Sometimes this is my comfort. What mm-hmm. he's yeah. But sometimes I wear pink, you know. But lately, I've just been a very yeah. big, over oversized, and I just I just kind of go back to something yeah. that you know. So for me, I'm like really open to yeah. whatever yeah. I want. No, it's like y'all got style, you know. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's the way I look see at it. This, but... Right here, I look like a freaking like this belongs on the table. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right? It's like a Montel, <laughs> Montel, and I love it. It, it, looks, yeah, it, it looks, looks like good. my it looks like my grandma, Mama Lydia made yeah. that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> which almost, is actually beautiful. You I know? love it. Yeah. So for me, I will wear what you're wearing. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we might need to uh, uh, exchange shirts, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But, stretch that shirt though. Uh, uh, <laughs> but, well, hey, I'll be, I'll be all good. <laughs> but you know, going going back to the way people dress, to me, this is like um, the, the way the way Adam dresses. It's chicanismo. Yeah. It, it does mm-hmm, not mm-hmm. belong to mm-hmm. a certain group of people. You <laughs> right? know, and so like I always say, when I retire. I want to be a chola. Yeah. You know, I want to be a chola. I want to go out with the pachuco theme. That's okay. going to be my retirement. Okay. Fight people? I, I'm, uh, yeah. You know what? <laughs> she's I'm going to get, get all Pacoima on them. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to live up to my I stereotype, you know? Sure. But <laughs> it, At that point, embrace it. Huh? Right? But it, it, to me, it's like it's Chicanismo. It doesn't mean that you're a gangster. Yeah. 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 It's you're embracing your culture. Yes. And right? To me, there's more beauty in that. Mm-hmm. You know, you hear the lowriders. Well, not just cholos like lowriders. Most Chicanos like low riders. Yeah. Yeah. It speaks to us. Yeah. It's part of our culture. We just came from um, the uh, takedown. Um, shout out to Bobby. Bobby D presents. Bobby D presents. Yeah. We went. It was all low riders. Mm. It was Mac Ten up in there. DJ Beautiful. Quick. Yeah. You know, sugar free. We were in there walking around. Yeah. Nobody right? said nothing to us. <laughs> yeah. you know, and it was I, all Chicanos. So we're like, right. oh God, we're gonna get checked <laughs> today. Right, you know? right, right. But, exactly. But at the end of the day, it's, isn't it be embarrassing for another man to feel comfortable to tell their man about who we are? Mm. We don't knock at your door. We don't want you to invite us to your home. Uh, so how are you gonna tell somebody in public how to do how to do their life? Right. Yeah. It's you not know? like we're walking around kissing either. We're no. just walking around, be just. Hey, just, just, and as my like mom told else. my nephew, you know? even if you are, because my nephew is gay and he promised her he would never bring his partner around. My mom says, "No, you are. Mm. Mm. Just oh, wow. like my granddaughters do, you are too." That's and my mom says, "When you feel something, you do it." Because you're not there to impress anyone else. Mm-hmm. Yes. When you feel love, you wow. feel it. I want to be a like part I of your family. You. Oh, you are. <laughs> <laughs> you She's are like, you are. very oh, much are. It. Yes, oh. yes. Yes. And Sydney, what about yourself? Do you have a little inner chola in you? You know? Oh, you know she does. Yeah, I think no, 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 no. She's got it right there. She, she looks her. Sydney, Sydney's holding back. She, she I like, like, I like that. She looks. She was walking good. around like this. Uh, What's wrong with her? I'm always ready. I'm always ready. She's uh, always. She's like this. Yeah. I stay true to myself, but you know, like if anybody wants to come around, it's like I'm ready. I don't right. like to start problems. Well, you'll like, finish it. Yes, Ooh. one thousand percent. <laughs> okay. Even if I get knocked out, I don't care. Like I'm not gonna stand down. Yeah. I am who I am, and I'm very, 
proud. Yeah, yeah I, I love that. that. Hey, you got to embrace yourself like that. Yeah. You know? yes, yes, exactly. Yes. No, I love that. I love that. And, uh, you know, it's uh, again, it's been today's show has really been about just being true to yourself really here. And uh, it's what a beautiful way here to like really, uh, uh, you know, uh, end today's show with Trino yeah. and Adam oh, uh, talking you. about uh, just who they are. You know, I feel like, uh, gosh, we could keep going and going, you know. And, and you uh, know what? You, you, you have somebody here, our friend. Oh, Louis. Louis. Yeah, shout out to you, Bobby. I wanted to. I, oh, yeah. Oh, he's Louis. a definition of of being yourself. Mm, you know yes. I mean? We yes, met him yes. in person, and I love the way he embraces his style. Oh, yeah. And I feel like he's just like us. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, talking about uh, Luis Rodriguez? Yeah, no, the one, or, or, or the one that was here earlier? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yes. Cornejo. Cornejo, Cornejo yes. yes. Yeah. Oh, of course. Luis so Cornejo. Yeah. You know, yes. I, love, I love what he represents. Mm-hmm. Yes. I feel yeah. like yeah, he's very different, and I'm very different. And yes. that's the word United, but I love what he represents. Yeah. Him and his husband, beautiful couple. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, and, and that's what it's all about here is like just really uh, just trying to like let folks know, you know, like look what happens when you really get to know folks uh, beyond the aesthetics. You know, look at the aesthetics, appreciate the aesthetics, yeah. but also like look beyond that too, you know, because exactly. there's there, there's more to it than that. But then when you do look at that, and then like hopefully when folks see, it's like oh now you know I see why uh, you know uh, Trino and Adam embrace who they are, mm-hmm. you know, or like how they look, how they dress, how they you know because that's that's part of who you are too. It's exactly. an expression of of who we are too, you mm-hmm. know, our fashion and and how we present ourselves, you know. Yeah. But I, I love that, I love that. And then as we uh, are wrapping it up here, we still got a few more minutes, but just wanted to ask, like, so. What keep you, what keeps you guys now in today's world of like social media and like you know uh, having to uh, or not having to but enjoying to do like the content and all that like what continues to fuel you like that that fuel you need to like continue to put it out there you know what for me I feel like what makes me want to continue that is that all the comments because mm. there's there's some hate but there's so much more love you know and they're always like keep doing your videos you put a smile on my face you yes. know like you you start my morning off right like just just the <laughs> yeah, smallest things because all it. we do really is just vibe to some music yeah, I mean, like, music, who, music who is doesn't like that you know, you know? Yeah, the soul. Just, I was young music was a way for me to go somewhere else mm. you know so I feel like it, it's it's a beautiful thing music just brings people t- together mm-hmm. but you know him bringing up hate I feel like being in a platform and any social media it's gonna come with it not everybody agrees with you and they have the right to say what they want mm-hmm. it never really affects me yeah you yeah know what I mean I feel like it's a choice for us to do and that. we don't delete comments we just don't respond back to them you know yeah let exactly. them have their voice you know we all want a voice you know if, you, if they want to say what they want to say, well, Bobby say, release your frustration, yeah. Bobby. It's all yeah. right. You I know? know when you see me real person, you're going to give me a hug. Right? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, come on. I Love it. it. It's going to be embarrassing for people to be so upset about some, somebody you don't know. Right. We're not telling us, don't. we don't want to be part of your family, so yeah. there's no need for you, you know? Yeah. But I think it's a lot of people, again, having parents that came from a certain, you know, um, mentality, it's like people just grew up a certain way and exactly. we have to respect that mm-hmm. not everybody some some people coming from oxnard i grew up very hispanic mm. you know what i mean i i never was even around an asian person mm. so when i was around asian person it's like how is our home it was you know so i could just some people are that still difference. living like that mm-hmm. yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? so for me i have them i'm compassionate about that yeah you know, to, it is taboo to people yeah this and i get it you yeah. know what i mean yeah exactly and i don't i don't it's i'm not here to change nobody's mind just to open their mind to just love humans you yeah. know what I mean? mm. like how you said just get to know people, even though you don't get what's what you see. Yeah. You give them, give them a chance. Right. Get exactly. Get to know them. That's yeah. that's mm-hmm. the beauty of it. Yeah. yeah. No. And that's why um, I just feel so honored, you know, just to be able to be here, like with you guys, uh, being here too, just to. Uh, uh, Again, just like I just feel the energy, right? And hopefully, mm-hmm. uh, folks on the airways on oh, our K R O J uh, radio mm-hmm. app, they're feeling it. I hope yeah. y'all feeling yeah. it right now because yeah. we feeling it right here. You know, <laughs> this is great. Uh, we want to thank also. Um, we want to thank our uh, sponsors uh, for today's show as well. Uh, we're talking about Superior Car Company, your Ooh. cargo van and truck warehouse. Yeah. They're located uh, mm-hmm. in North Hollywood, and they're um, a uh, you know fam- family owned. Uh, 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 cargo van and truck warehouse so uh, thank you so much to uh, Kedden and uh, the family out there for uh, supporting us and uh, so we could bring uh, uh, Trino, Adam and I others here it. in the studio so uh, thank you so much we also just want to uh, make a quick announcement here too before we let Trino and Adam give us their final words of wisdom here uh, but that is the Partido Nacional de la Raza Unida is having a study group uh, on October 21st uh, from 12pm to 1pm at the Graf Yard uh, that's here in Pacoima, California for more information uh please call 
56. Again, that's the study group brought to you by the Partido Nacional de la Raza Unida happening on October 21st from 12 to 1 p.m. And we'll put some of those things on our socials as well uh, for uh, your information there. But uh, once again, we're back here with Trino and Adam as we're wrapping up today's show here, Valley Views on KROJ 101.5 FM. Uh, we want to first and foremost, uh, on behalf of the whole entire crew, our interns, um, everyone that's here today, our mm-hmm. special uh, uh, co host here, Grichi, as well. Yeah. Uh, we yeah, want to just thank Grichy. you. Uh, thank you, Trino and Adam, for uh, being here, uh, for rocking with us, too. Uh, we'll continue uh, on our platform to uh, support you, uh, to uplift you, and uh, we're going to continue to do that, you know? Mm-hmm. But uh, tell us here, um, and maybe we'll start, uh, uh, let's start uh, with uh, uh, Adam, and then we'll go to Trino. But what um, words of wisdom do you want to leave our listening audience with? You know what I feel like it's just all about just embracing who you are, you know, and for me, it's more for the young ones, you know, just know that you're you're never alone. And and there was a time when I when I was growing up where I felt alone, Trino felt alone. And you always just wonder, like, what's my life going to be as an adult? I never saw myself living past 17. I just never saw that. And um, it's going to be fine. You know what I mean, it's OK. And, and, and you got to embrace yourself before anyone else can embrace you. So just love yourself. And just know that you're not alone. There's so many out there that can that will support and love you forever. You know, hey. beautiful, beautiful. And Adam, uh, again, uh, finish it off. Words of wisdom <laughs> you want to leave us with? Well, to me, I feel like it started with me being transparent with myself. Even though if I didn't like what I saw, it was what it was. Mm. And accepting and loving myself, I'm extremely, fully confident who I am, even mm. when I'm in my lowest. So I've been feeling transparent to myself and being transparent around me because at the end of the day, that's just the key, and that's what's been helping me. You know, sometimes. Um, just saying certain things to my daughter i feel like i want her to know who i am and it's so powerful just being transparent like the transparency i'm giving to people so just being transparent i walk with mirrors around me mm. in every angle you know I me mean? and i study myself and i love myself and i embrace myself and i'm a number one fan i'm the you already know i'm the baddest yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and i love that saying with that confidence that's beauty yeah. right there uh beauty in the words uh beauty in the love uh and just uh beauty in the uh just genuine self that y'all are uh continue to grow continue to shine continue to blossom continue to like uh, inspire us uh we really appreciate that um on behalf uh once again of our whole entire crew here at uh, valley views on kroj we want to wish our listening audience here uh just a beautiful and lovely sunday embrace yourself mm-hmm. uh, embrace hey. others so with that said y'all once again you're tuning to kroj 101.5 fm have a beautiful and blessed sunday y'all much love peace bye, bye. Bye.